I have made many mistakes in my lifetime, but overlooking a huge ongoing issue that appears in many of my videos is the biggest mistake that I have ever made, and that is accent discrimination. I was naive and I didn't realise that I was doing it, but after being called out on it, and those people that have called me out on it had every right to do so, I'm angry at myself and I'm angry at the way that I have been making people feel. I don't feel personally attacked by those who called me out, so don't give them any grief for doing so. I really believe that they were doing it for you and I feel like they were doing it for the industry. The criticism wasn't just aimed at me, it was aimed at me and the industry and it was deserved. Until recently, I was convinced that I was running a positive, family-friendly, unproblematic YouTube channel that was helping students from all over the world. But what I didn't take the time to think about was that I was making people feel not good enough because of the way they speak. In a recent video, I took 10 words that are difficult to pronounce, words that um, can be used in a university or a workplace, and I told people that they should avoid mispronouncing these words if they want to sound professional and intelligent. Words like intelligent, smart, professional, they're all buzzwords on YouTube and they tend to get a really good response. But what I implied was that if people don't pronounce these words the way an English dictionary says you should pronounce them in received pronunciation, then you are not intelligent, you are not professional, and you are not educated. I never intended to convey or spread that toxic message, but I did convey it, and I need to apologise. I am so sorry to everyone who felt hurt by that video, and I'm so sorry to everyone who has ever been made to feel unprofessional, uneducated, or stupid by any of my videos. That is not what I wanted or intended, but it's clear that what I wanted and what I intended is not enough. I have removed these videos and I'm reviewing the rest of my channel to make sure that I don't push any of these prejudices. I love making catchy videos, but I do need to strike a better balance between making fun and engaging content and providing a thoughtful and responsible education. I'll also admit that I'm finding it challenging to strike that balance between teaching pronunciation and not dismissing regional accents. This is now my period of learning. I have arranged conversations with some of the experts that have criticised me. I want to learn and I want to improve and I want to use my platform for good. To those who have criticised me, thank you. You're trying to affect positive change and I want to do that too.